Um, yeah, so I found out um, like three nights ago, and then within three hours, the whole world knew. So that was kind of crazy to me. Um, but yeah, like, um, I don't know. It takes me a while to, you know, really process everything. So now that it's official, I know I'm coming to San Diego. Uh, you know, it, it's bittersweet for me. I had a lot of good memories and moments in uh, Tampa that, you know, I'm going to cherish forever. Uh, they really, you know, raised me and they grew me as a, you know, I was a kid when I got there and then they turned me into a, I'd like to say a good, you know, a good, uh, man. So, um, yeah, there's a lot to be thankful for there. There's a lot that, you know, that I'm going to be appreciative of, a lot of relationships that I'm very happy that I was able to make. Um, but, you know, with all that said, uh, you know, it prepared me for when they traded me uh, to the Padres to be ready for this opportunity um, and to take advantage of it. I mean, it's a team that's very talented uh, all around. So I'm super excited about that. I'm super excited to meet the guys, to meet the staff, to meet the people that I'll be interacting with uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. And, um, that makes me, you know, super excited and, you know, thankful that, you know, they, they traded the prospects that, you know, they had to trade to get me over here to be on this team. So all in all, I'm, I'm thankful on both ends. You mentioned a little bit about some of your, your observations about this team, but can you be a little bit more specific about what you've seen about this Padres organization and what they've been developing over the last couple of years and just sort of your impression uh, fr from the outside, looking at what this club did dynamically last year? Well, they're super exciting. They got a team that, you know, plays with a lot of fun. Um, they're swaggy. Um, and, you know, they just, they can swing the bat. That's the first thing I'm going to say. They can swing it. You know, you got Machado, Tatis, Hosmer, uh, Will. You got Crone, uh, Cronenworth. Uh, you got um, Tommy Fan. How can I forget Tommy? That's my dog. So, I mean, it's just all through the lineup. And I still got to get to know these guys and, you know, uh, see the whole lineup that we actually do have everybody in there. Um, and then I'm excited, you know, I get to meet Nola here soon. So I'm excited to meet him, start to talk to him about, you know, just, you know, ideas that I have, he has and uh, build that, that relationship. So, I mean, from that end, I'm excited that, you know, I got guys that can hit, but they can also play defense. And then, um, yeah, I'm just excited to really meet everyone, meet the starting staff, meet the, the bullpen pitchers. It's, it's a lot that, you know, is going through my head, but this team can play and, you know, we're going to be chasing a World Series, which is obviously the most exciting, you know, piece to this whole thing. You know, it's been a lot to process. And I think the thing that I do best is I go back and look at everything that's happened before I, you know, jump forward into what's about to happen. So I've been able to reflect on that, you know, and it's been sad because it's a lot of people that are very important to me in, in my life. So um, it's definitely something that's sad. But again, uh, as I start to look forward and start to, you know, get ready for the season and uh, it's going to be something that's super exciting for me and it's new. And, you know, I'm, I'm excited to be a part of this team. It's a, it's, a, it's a very talented ball club. And like I said, we got a chance to win a World Series right away. And uh, you got to love being a part of that. Me and Tommy talk all the time. Um, I, when I say all the time, we, you know, we always check in with each other. So um, he was letting me know the interest and uh, the interest that AJ was showing and talking to him. And then as I started talking to other guys like Clev and uh, Manny, you know, they were telling me the interest that AJ had once it was already uh, gone through. And, um, you know, that's just exciting to hear. You know, it's someone that really wants me and really believes that I can, you know, come in and help this team. Uh, do something that they haven't done and you know that's exciting for me so um mm -hmm. it was cool that me and Tommy were able to talk a lot and uh he was able to give me insight so I wasn't as blindsided but again I don't think when you're traded you'll ever be prepared because uh you know just the love that I have for the Rays and and everyone that's in that organization and supports it, it it's it's going to be tough you to kind of come to a team that's so clearly going for it and for you to be mm -hmm. a part of that and for you to come here at the same time I mean you Darvish, Hassan Kim, and all the moves they made at the deadline. What does that all together mean to you for a team that's so clearly going hey, to protect? I, I got a question. I saw you on MLB Network, and they were talking about you getting some sleep. Did you get any sleep? I've slept about maybe six hours in the last two nights. <laughs> so you're on the Red Bulls. Okay. I'm Great on the coffee. Question. Coffee? Okay, there we go. I don't drink coffee, but. I'm happy you on something, AJ, but your question was, uh, how do I feel about like all the new acquisitions that they've made in the past, what? Yeah, three and, and coming to a team that's just clearly going for it in, in yeah. 2020. Okay, perfect. Um, Yeah, you know, it's something that's super exciting. You know, they come after me and I'm like, that's amazing. And you know, it's been a day, it's been quiet 
there's been not a lot of moves going on. And it's been pretty quiet until, you know, they got me and then it started to move a little bit with some other teams and then Josh Bell. But um, for, for them to get me, uh, the Korean guy, I, got, I don't know his name, so I don't want to be disrespectful by not saying his name. Um, but, you know, I'll learn it. I'm bad with names, so I'll learn that. Um, and then hopefully we get you Darvish too. You know, hopefully that's all official and we get him and um, his catcher. I got to learn his name. I'm bad with names, so I apologize for that as well. But um, I'll definitely learn their names. And uh, it's exciting, man. It's, it's fun to see, you know, they're going all out. They want to win. They know what they have. They know the talent that's here. They know what they need to win. Um, and they're going and getting it. So it's something for me that, you know, I'm super excited about. And, you know, I'm just very thankful that, you know, they, they put their trust in, you know, shipping prospects out for me to be the guy to, you know, help them, you know, win a World Series. What, what do you envision it being like potentially Clevenger comes back next year? I mean, maybe the U Darvish deal gets finalized. The Nelson Lamette, Mackenzie Gore, Chris Paddock. What, what do you envision it being like being a part of a rotation like that? You know, it's going to be competitive. That's that's the best thing about when you have a lot of talent. The guys are going to compete within, you know, the group that we have right there. Um, the young guys are going to get a lot better. Um, I'm hoping they're guys that, you know, ask questions, want to learn, and, you know, want to put that work forward. So I'm excited, you know, just to meet everybody, start to, you know, feel it out, see see how guys act and what their personalities are like. But I know Clevenger a good amount, so I'm excited about that. I'm I'm pumped for him to get healthy and be back in the next, the following season. But I mean, when you look at this lineup and you look at the rotation they put together and that's going to be put together when Clev gets back, I mean, it's hard not to be excited, man. This team is, it's lights out. So it's, it's time for us, you know, put the work in and make this happen because we have the team to do it. Next we'll go to Martin Caswell, 1360. Hi, Blake. Since the World Series ended, though, how many how many times have you thought about being pulled early in that game? And uh, how excited are you to face the Dodgers again, who have essentially owned this division for the better part of a decade? Yeah, so to answer the first part of that, um, I mean, I've thought about it a little bit, but I don't I think I only think about it as much as I do because of how many people, you know, bring it up to me. Um, it's always the topic of conversation. Um and yeah, I mean, I've gotten past it to a point where I don't even think about it. Um, I know how, you know, Kevin Cash manages. I respect him and I've always trusted him. And, you know, he knows how to win. We got to the World Series because we won and we did that the whole way through. So, you know, I have my my, my moments where, you know, I, I would have put it to where I wanted to be out there and I want to, you know, do everything I can to, you know, try to help the team win. And he's doing the same thing. So I got to understand that. And then what was the second part of that? On facing the Dodgers, if you're excited to go ahead and face the Dodgers again. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, I don't think you're ever going to be excited to face a team that that's, you know, that is that lethal, but you're always mm -hmm. up for the challenge and you're always ready. And, you know, it's 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 exciting for me because I, I faced them those two games um, and, you know, I succeeded. But again, they're going to be doing their work and I'm going to have to do my work to continue to get better and know what they're going to try to look for and know what they're doing recently and you know, I got to put a lot of work in on just video and understanding that team. So all in all, I'm, I'm always excited to face whatever team I face. But at the, at the same time, you know, I want to call it excited because that team's one of the best hitting teams, you know, baseball has ever seen. So um, I'm definitely looking forward to, to competing against them. And, you know, it's going to be a tough division. And it's going to be tough to win the division, but I really can't wait for it. Um, but, yeah, it's just I'm more looking forward to the work that's going to go in to really come on, boost. Deuce is excited. My puppy's excited. But I'm looking forward <laughs> to the work that's going to be, you know, put in to be ready to face those teams. And I know you were upset when Tommy Pham was traded initially to the Padres. Did you ever think that you would be reunited again for uh, um, him prospects? <laughs> uh, I didn't, honestly. I thought I was going to be at the Rays at least another year or two. Um, and then I didn't – I never really thought about where I'd be traded. So I never thought, you know, I'd be reunited with Pham because I was just focused on where I was. But, um, you know, being reunited with him, I love it because I know what he brings to the game. I know, you know, the, the anger, controlled passion that he brings. So um, it, it's going to be fun. I, I love, you know, pitching with him behind me. And I'm definitely looking forward to it because he says a lot of these guys play with that, that, that kind of passion. So I'm really looking forward to it. Thank you. Blake, you talked about that game six there. The, the Padres, you're coming to a team that has a little bit more traditional, say, take on how starters are used and how long mm -hmm. they go, that sort of thing. And I just wonder your thoughts. Um, yeah, my thoughts on, you know, 
um, being able to, you know, push it and, you know, challenge myself and go a third time through the order and stuff like that. I'm very excited about it. I mean, I believe in myself a lot. I believe I put the work in to be able to face the time three, four times, face a lineup three to four times. And um, I'm excited about that. I know I'm going to get the opportunity here. I know they're going to, you know, trust me and let me go. Um, but I know to start the season as well, you know, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be building my, my arm up. And once I get to the point where, you know, I'm built and I'm comfortable and I'm ready to go, that's when I really start to, you know, push, push deep into ball games. But I, I mean, just knowing myself and what I've done, you know, my whole career, I got to be smart with knowing that, you know, I got to, I got to build and, you know, it might take a little while to get, you know, built to where I want to be. It might take, you know, spring training and then maybe the first five starts, you know, I'm five, six innings, but, I know after that, you know, I'm going to start really pushing it. And I know with how, you know, I feel and health wise, I feel really good. So um, hopefully from that point on, you know, I could really, you know, go eight, nine and start to really challenge myself and see how good I really am and what I can do when I, you know, got to see these guys three, four times. And, and you add plenty of a swagger to a team that already has a ton of swagger. Do you, do you think there's a team with more, no. <laughs> you think there's a team with more drip in all baseball? No. No shot. No shot. Yeah, no shot. I think uh, I think we're going to hold it down with, you know, the pro t- pro trending drip, all the base, all the baseball swag, all the little accounts I follow on Instagram like Padres. We're going to we're going to be coming with that this year. So I'm excited. Uh, I know everyone's going to be challenging each other on who, who has the most drip stuff like that. But uh, no, this team's definitely swaggy and I'm excited about that. And Snell, last year you came to San Diego and you said you speak a, a few Spanish language for your teammates in race. But now yeah. you you rise the that experience in Spanish to get ready for this chemistry in San Diego Pondres. Yeah, I got to learn, you know, because every time I come home in the off season, you know, I don't speak Spanish. So it just gets worse and worse. And uh, it all started when I was in rookie ball. I had really good Spanish because uh, – Oscar Hernandez, he was a catcher for us. Uh, he w- we would practice English and Spanish together all the time. So my Spanish got really good. And then it's been fading since then. I got Rosetta Stone two years ago, and I've only been on it like seven or eight times. So I got to get back on that because I got to be able to talk to my teammates in Spanish. So I got to do a better job. That's on me. So by the next time I see you, hopefully we can have a conversation in Spanish and you can tell me if I, you know, how it is. All right, challenge accepted. Thank you very All much. Right. Yep, sounds good, my man.